So your fluorescent lights went out and the first thing you do is swap them out with a known working pair. If they still don't work, the issue is with your ballast. Well, if you're in my shoes, then your ballast was probably old and was a magnetic ballast. They don't make those anymore as the Department of Energy phased them out in 2010 in place of a newer, lighter, quieter electronic ballast, which are used to operate linear electronics. Yes, I learned all this while trying to get my lights back on. First, what is a ballast? It is a small box in the light fixture that is required to operate fluorescent bulbs because they cannot be connected directly to electrical lines. This is because fluorescent bulbs need a stable flow of electrical current. If not, the bulbs will not function properly. Ballasts provide two functions. One, they establish the proper voltage for a continuous arc that all fluorescent bulbs need to be lit. And two, it keeps the bulb lit by regulating the current so the light is stabilized and light output is continuous. So before we get started, ensure your state does not require a certified licensed electrician to perform this function. When I got home and opened the box, I thought my old one didn't have all these wires. So this is why I'm making this video, to make it all clear and help you out. So for this job, you will need a pair of wire cutters, some pliers, a Phillips head screwdriver, wire strippers, and some electrical tape. The most important tool you will need is the current tester. Nothing fancy, just a simple one to let you know the power is off. Start in your breaker box by securing the power to your light. Then, with your power testers, go back to your light and ensure the power is really off. Now, let's get started. Looking at your new ballast, there are now eight wires. For a two lamp setup, you have a red and a blue for each bulb. And you have a yellow, which is your common wire. On the other side, you have a white and a black. Your black wire is your hot wire or power wire, and your white is your neutral. If you did not pay attention when removing the old ballast, you will find a lip or a slot that the ballast slides into. This lip is on both sides of the fixture. You need to make sure that the black and white wires are pointing to the center of the fixture when you're installing this. Now, with the small mounting screw, you can secure the other end of the ballast in place. Start by taking your two yellow common wires and fold them back towards the other end of the fixture. You will notice that both of these wires are much longer. Now stretch the blue and red individual lamp wires out towards the close end and lay them over the lamp holder socket. Remove your lamp holder by pulling outward on the frame and upward on the lamp holder socket. Now, strip both ends of both your blue and red wires at about a half an inch. Take each wire and insert each color into their own socket. That means two red for one lamp socket and two blue for the other lamp socket. Now you can place your lamp holder socket back into place. That side is complete, so now you can close back up the compartment. Here's where it gets tricky. In order to create the proper wiring, you need to add four small pieces of wire at about six inches long. You can cut some of your red or blue wire or even some of your yellow. But if you Google this on the internet, you will get diagrams that look something like this. It looks easy, but it's still a pain in the butt to accomplish. I have made two of these wires blue so you can see where they go. First, Take the two ends of your long yellow wire and strip both ends. Then take your four new cut wires and strip both ends of those. You will join each new pair of six inch wires into the ends of your long cut yellow wires. You can join these with twist caps or a standard connector. Just ensure no bare wire is exposed. You can also cover with electrical tape once the caps are in place. Now remove the other lamp holder socket from the light fixture the same way as before. You need to pair up each extra line with the opposite side. In my case, I made a set of blue extras, so one yellow and one blue to each socket. If your socket has two sets of inserts, ensure you make your wires side by side, the closest ones together. Here is a quick version of the blue wire being correct by crossing them, but the two wires not being side by side in the insert. This setup will not work, so don't do this and then put your light back together. It will just cause you more frustration. 
Now, snap your lamp holder socket back into position. If you took your light off the ceiling to perform this function, make sure that you have the ground screw that fits your hole. You will need to attach the black to black and the white to white and then ensure the bare copper ground wire extending from the ceiling is connected to the light fixture here with a small screw. Replace the bulbs and you can test your wiring. If all was connected correctly, then your light should light up. As always, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. And if this video helped you, hit that like button.